Good morning, everyone. I'm back with another Lithuanian product. This is mulberry extract. What that actually is, is called chlorophyllin. Chlorophyll is the green, obviously, in all of our plants. Um, also, by virtue of its nature, it is UV sensitive because it's, you know, producing energy from light. So chlorophyll Grass stains in your wash fade to tan because the only thing left is the tannin, not the chlorophyll, because it's sensitive and not stable. Scientists and wizards have invented uh, chlorophyllin, which is extracted from mulberry trees, which is kind of funny to dye silk from mulberry moths with mulberry dye. But anyway... <clears throat> It is the fastest and easiest way to get green without over dyeing it. However, it is not as light fast. It will fade more. So if you want to make really good light fast uh, green, you're going to want to start with the yellow and probably over dye in blue, uh, like weld and woad or doing um, goldenrod and indigo or something. But anyway, I wanted to see what this looks like because it looks gorgeous. And it's uh, stabilized kind of like the Saxon blue, except this is done with copper. Now this is two uh, ounces. Um, and it said that like 15 grams would dye two pounds of fabric. So this could be strong. So in light of that, I am going to um, put it in a nice big pot and not put a ton in and treat it a bit like I did the cochineal, which was extremely powerful. Same with the Saxon blue. But I would love to see um, even what the Saxon blue would do over the green. So we can use this for a lot of experiments. But I want to try this new chlorophyllin, also known as mulberry extract. Um, and this is from Forests and Meadows in Lithuania. But you can get this locally. It was just more expensive and I wanted to support a business um, outside of our country that's related to my husband's family. So we will get started with our mulberry dye. Okay, now, unlike the Saxon blue, this stuff cannot be uh, affected. It cannot be changed. You cannot sadden it. You cannot add tin to the bath. None of those things will do anything to this. So it's completely based on the density of your dye bath and it recommended that you mix it up into a paste which obviously didn't do a good enough job so i'll do a little more of that before i dump this uh, but it told you to make a paste first so you can dump it into your water um i'm not doing a giant pot because it said that for best results to leave these overnight and i don't want to lose my big pot for the whole rest of the day i have other things i want to do anyway so this is the chlorophyllin and I will mix it a little bit better before I dump it in here. But we're going to keep it at like 190 degrees for about an hour once we get our fibers in there. Okay, so here's our chlorophyllin dye derived from mulberries. Uh, it's been in there for over an hour, I would say. Uh, I was a little worried that it would be so strong that it would get really, really dark, but it definitely didn't. I feel like I could have added more powder to get a more intense deep green, but that might be... The mordant? I couldn't tell you because I use alum and that usually uptakes it just great. So it might be that I just didn't have it at a high enough concentration and I could add some more green. Uh, I may do that, but either way, we will get these laundered and have a look when they are all dry. Okay, for a speedy review of the lovely chlorophyllin dye. It was not as dark as I expected, but it is noted that you can remordant this with alum and put it back in and go again and again and again until it darkens up to the darkness you want. This one is straight alum. This one is on oak gall. And again, you can see that it always seems to struggle to pick it up the silk if you've oak gall tan tanned it. So just don't bother. This is the alum triformate. Or no, I'm sorry. This is the aluminum acetate, which for once actually picked up the color really beautifully and made this like really bluey gray sagey green that's very nice and then lastly we have uh the same this is the alum acetate or aluminum acetate but this is on to a more rough weave muslin and so they are very beautiful they are not very dark 
it's a little hard for my light to balance. That's probably pretty accurate right there. I do think it's gorgeous. I do not think it is light fast enough for me to trust it if I'm going to make an heirloom type item out of it. But this was a wonderful experiment. I love that we got the die. You can uh, check the uh, link in the description for where to get your own chlorophyllin dye, which is also known as mulberry leaf extract. So lovely stuff, beautiful colors, not super light fast. Um, yeah, I like it. I think I might try to over dye some of it in Saxon blue and see what the heck happens. You never know. It says it can't be altered once it's in, but if you can dye on top of it with its own self, you would think you could dye on top of it with another color. Anyway, thank you for coming to this experiment. If you would be so kind as to consider becoming a patron and supporting lots more experiments like this, I have almost three years of stitch alongs and embroidery guides waiting for you there for like literally three dollars. So if you wouldn't mind checking that out, I'd be so grateful or just come and stitch with me in my Facebook group. We're a very nice bunch and we will support you in whatever you're trying to learn. Thank you for coming on this experiment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!